Right. Going to try again. We're going to install Icecast onto a Windows 11 machine with a program called Butt, which sends the audio from the microphone to the Icecast server on, on the operating system, so that you can look at you can listen to it on a web so a web page or VLC media player. So let's go, let's uh, go ahead and start that. I've done it a few times, but I've had a couple of hiccups. Uh, cast for Windows. Oops. So I'll download Icecast for Windows. And then once that's done, we'll install it. Yes, agree. Next, next. Install. Close that. Now we want but for Windows. Let's make it simple. Broadcast using this tool. And then click the big green download button two one and then Windows will give us this error we can't do anything unless we click the more info run anyway which gives us next install we won't run but yet that. Now we go to Icecast, you can see it's there on the thing, but we're going to go to All Apps and then see it here Icecast, Icecast Config. If you've got your microphone connected to the internet, you want it connected to the internet, this is where you change your password from HackMe in these three places uh, to change it to something more secure but source password is hack me we're going to leave that with uh, hack me anyway if you change it make sure that you click the save uh, so that's that right we're going to run icecast now so go to more apps big icecast and we're going to Run Icecast console, and we're going to let that run on the taskbar. Open up Boot, click Settings, and go to Add a Server, and we're going to call it Server for simplicity. And it's an Icecast server we're sending it to, so click Icecast. The address can be either the IP address of the computer that you're using but I'm going to put localhost which does the same job and the port is 8000 and the password that we left in icecast was hackme and the mount point is stream the icecast user was source and we know that source was hack me so we click add and we go to audio settings you click your microphone there for whichever one you're using if it's a USB mic select your USB mic from the list down there as you can see mine's a bit overpopulated but that's the one that seems to work for me and we want uh, channel mode and sample rate at 48 kilohertz and the codec is MP3 320. But if you click the little cog, we can just uh, make sure that everything's at the best rates. The higher the number, the best. We want that on the best, everything. So, anyway, you can choose the other ones if you wish. But we're sticking to MP3 just for simplicity. 
and stream you can just leave that out all the others we can just forget about those and if we click play it should connect to the icecast server which has done so if we open up a web page it will probably show the address once I start localhost and we want it stream and there you go and there you go let's just stop that in case it's messing with my audio and if you want VLC media player click play and it brings up the open media box or the network and I've put in my HTTP colon backslash backslash forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.20 colon 8000 forward slash stream as the address you could have local host in there of course to replace the IP address click play to replace the IP address and click as you can play. see it's and, as you can see. and if you had that on your mobile phone on your on your local network you could listen to a garden microphone for example listen to the birdies whilst you're lying down on your bed relaxing rather than being in the in the garden because sometimes the garden birds make different sounds when there's no humans about which is quite interesting or you can port forward it to uh, another server on the internet or you could just use your own icecast server as the internet broadcaster as long as it's running and you've got a port forward open on your router um, pointing to your IP address this one is 192.168.1.20 and if I were to port forward that with port, for, with port number 8000 then if you knew what my IP address was on the internet you'd be able to listen in to the audio stream right now but there you go anyway that's that's the way that works so I'll switch that off so that's basically it really simple to set up if you want a, an audio streamer using a computer or a raspberry pi or something like that with raspberry pi i use dark ice and i've got a little video up on with on my, uh, my on my channel showing you how to do that well, that's it really basically so thanks very much for listening